So I wasn't expecting to make another video today, but I just got a package in the mail that I completely forgot about. So let's find out what's in it. This knife isn't as sharp as I thought it was. To use packing peanuts. Let's see if I can get it out without spilling them everywhere. Alrighty. Knife away. We have. This looks like it's an HP, but it's an IO Drive 2. And it's a PCI Express solid state drive. Now it's not NVMe, but they use either MLC or TLC. A little bit older technology stuff, but they are still very fast. So if I recall correctly, um, I'll link the spec sheet in the description below of this video. This one uses a PCI Express 2.0 by 8 bus. Um, so it's not the fastest thing in the world, but it will certainly get the job done. And this one is a 1.2 terabyte. They come in all different sizes. And um, it's kind of like the... The Sun Oracle F80 800 gig or the F40 400 gig. I've done a video on those before. Um, similar style drives, except for this one is going to be one gigantic drive and um, it's not going to show up as four separate drives. Um, I'm going to throw this in my computer, run some benchmarks, and sh show you some uh, performance results and, and all that kind of stuff on this. Um, this one was only 85 bucks. It might have actually been less than that. I think it was like 80 after uh, uh, after best offer and free shipping. Um, these are a great deal. You can get them, you can get the 1.3 or the 1.6 terabyte. You can get the larger ones like the 3.2 or the 6.4 terabyte drives as well. Um, some of those come in NVMe, some don't. Um, the thing to watch out for, especially with the I.O. drives, as of right now, there is no Unraid support for them. So if you're going to use them in FreeNAS, Windows, I think they work in Linux just fine. If you want to use them in like Proxmox or ESXi, they work fine in there. The only thing that I know for a fact, they just don't work in Unraid, which is really unfortunate because these would make for a very, very good and very, very fast uh, cache drive. So hopefully we see that support in the future. I know there's been some talk about it, especially with all of the new things that Unraid is adding support for and whatnot, um, but hopefully we'll see that in the future. So not a whole lot to see here. Uh, no external power or anything like that. And just a drive. Some flash chips and a heat sink. This one is, like I said, it's an HP they come in all different kinds of brands. Um, yep, this is 1205 gig MLC PCIe IO Drive 2. So anyway, that's an overview of the drive. Um, next, I'll show you what it looks like running up in Windows and all that. And uh, I'll just close out this video, make it nice and short. I'll see you over there. Alrighty, so I've got the uh, Fusion IO Drive 2 installed on my PC and um, here's how it shows up in Device Manager. This one is an HP, like I said, so it's an HP 1205 gig MLC PCIe IO Drive 2. Um, I actually just use the Dell drivers which are available um, from the SanDisk Dell site. 
Um, but you can find them from HP. You can find them from a bunch of other large companies. I think Lenovo has them too. Um, so you can kind of use whichever. I need to probably update the firmware on this drive because um, expected speeds, you're supposed to be getting around 1.5 gigabytes per second read and about 1.3 uh, on the write speed. And here in green, this is what I'm getting with this drive right now. It's still good, mind you, but it's not as good as what I'm expecting. So um, I'm going to do a little work to get that to where it needs to be or as close as I can get. But honestly, if I'm stuck with this because of its current like life um, or its uh, current, I don't know, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is like how much has been used. Okay, like it's fine. It's not not the greatest thing in the world, but uh, um, I actually don't think that this program can see it. Huh, that's interesting. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah. So almost a gig uh, read and about three quarters write, which is really good. Um, it's definitely faster than a SATA SSD. Here's a SATA SSD here. This is my boot drive. Um, so a pretty good improvement from that. And you can read more about this drive here on this storage review. It's a great website. Um, this was published in 2013, uh, but this is pretty much the exact drive I have here. And you're looking at 16.26 petabyte right endurance which is massive it's insane um, that's this drive will not die uh, without some serious stuff happening to it um, the bus interface is actually a PCI Express 2.0 by 4 bus I thought it was a by 8 but it's actually a by 4 um, in the uh, in the disk manager this is how it shows I named it fusion and labeled it F um, with NTFS and four kilobyte allocation, I'm looking at 1.122 terabytes usable, which is pretty good. Uh, it's kind of to be expected with the overhead of NTFS and formatting and all that. Um, yeah, so this is the 1.2 terabyte. Again, the drivers you can get pretty much anywhere. I installed them and it worked instantly after that. Um, so when you're looking on eBay, uh, you can actually find a few different models. This one here is a Fusion IO Duo. So it's actually two 640 gig, or I think they're just 600 gig actually, 600 gig uh, drives on one. And it's a very interesting looking card, but basically it functions the same. Um, it shows up as two drives, but you can use software RAID to uh, combine the speeds of them, and it would be quite a bit faster than the card I have in right now. Um, so here's a 1.2 terabyte for 99 bucks, free shipping. Um, here's a 1.3 terabyte for 130 with free shipping. This is a, I believe this is a newer card than what I have see I think the IO scale ones are slightly newer so this is a 1.3 terabyte um, again you'll be looking at about the same thing uh, as far as performance goes you can look up all the specs of all these here's the exact card I have um, I don't believe I bought from the seller but they're asking 109 or best offer with free shipping um, so that's a pretty decent deal and then if you want to go to a larger size here's a 3.2 terabyte Two available. Uh, Unix surplus, great seller. I buy from them all the time. Uh, they're only asking 280 or best offer with free shipping again. Um, you could probably offer like maybe 240 on this or 250. I mean, 3.2 terabytes, especially if you're storing things like games and, and stuff like that on it, if you're going to use this in your gaming PC, it's a fast, very fast, very reliable SSD. Um, and that's a lot of storage you can put in one slot and just kind of be done with it. And that could be your primary storage for games and uh, stuff like that. So 
Um, highly recommend these drives. They're very, very cool. Uh, very, very easy to use. They're not as uh, they don't run as warm as the F80 and F40 drives, so uh, that's something to consider as well. They don't really put out as much heat. Um, and like I said, man, I mean, they're just freaking crazy reliable with all that endurance rating. And uh, they're not too expensive, so there's really nowhere you're going to get a 3.2 terabyte SSD um, for 250 or much less 200 I mean, okay. 280 much less $250, like you're not going to get anything close to that. Uh, NVMe drives, you're looking at about 300 for a two terabit, I believe. So not quite the same, uh, you know, not, not quite the same amount of space and you're spending about the same amount of money. Um, of course, it'll be faster and brand new, but it's all about value. So I would say that these are a pretty good value. Uh, so check out the Fusion IO drives. They're pretty cool. Um, I'll see if I can find a few more uses for them and uh, a few more things that would take advantage of them. Hopefully, uh, hopefully Unraid will be able to take advantage of them sometime soon in the future because, man, that would just open quite a lot of doors. I know a lot of you out there run Unraid. So that's it for the Fusion IO drives. Um, hopefully I've got your interest a little bit on these guys and... Uh, I'll see if I can get the firmware updated on this one and I'll come back and uh, rerun some benchmarks and whatnot and see if I can get the full advertised speed out of it. Um, but until then, I'll see you guys next time.